Hey everybody, this is Russ from Retro Game Core. Today we're going to get the PC port of Stardew Valley working on various retro handheld devices. Now I do have one caveat for that, and this is a beta release right now. It's not available in Portmaster yet, so you're going to have to install it manually. And despite being in a beta release status right now, it's actually working really well. So in this video, we'll help you install it on any of your RK3326 retro handheld devices. That includes the Ambernic RG351 series, the Powkitty RGB10 series, and then also the GameForce Qi. Basically anything that can run 351 ELEC, ArcOS, or MU ELEC. So without any further delay, let's jump into it. Now first things first, you need to buy a copy of the game. On Steam right now, it's actually available for $9, but it's usually about 15 bucks. And you don't have to buy it just from Steam, you just need to be able to get the Linux version of it. So you could buy it from something like the Humble Store as well. Okay, so once you've bought it, you actually don't need to install it, we're just going to directly download the Linux version of this game. To do that, we need to go to this page here, steamdb.info. And here we're going to get the app ID as well as the Linux depot code. Once we have those, we can go ahead and grab the files. Next, press the Windows Start button and then type in the word Run. This is going to open up the Run app. And here we need to type in steam colon slash slash open slash console. And I have all these instructions in a written guide linked below. So I'm going to go pretty fast through this, but you can always just check that written guide. And that's going to open up steam in the console window. What we're going to type in here is download underscore depot. And then we need those app IDs that we grabbed earlier. So the app ID for this game is 413150 and the Linux depot ID is 413153. So just go ahead and press enter at this point and it's going to start the download. And the download's going to take quite some time. For me it took about 20-25 minutes altogether. And so while you're waiting I would encourage you to go and find one of your pets or maybe a significant other and just tell them how much they mean to you. Because you know our time on this planet is pretty short and it's always good to tell the people that you care about that you do care about them. Anyway once the download is complete it's actually going to tell you the path of where that download is. So what we want to do here is actually navigate to that location on our computer. If you're using a Windows computer, you're going to find it under your local disk, then Program Files x86, then Steam, then Steam Apps, and then Content. And here you find your app ID that we had, 413150, and here's your depot. And within here are all the Stardew Valley files for a Linux game. Next, we're going to go to my written guide. In here, you're going to find instructions on how to download the file, which we just went through on the video here. And then later, once this port is out of beta release, you're actually going to want to just go to these Portmaster instructions. Now the game isn't on Portmaster yet, but it will be soon. And so at one point, these instructions are going to be different. Anyway, for the beta release, we need to manually download the package. So just grab that file from Google Drive, and then save it wherever you want on your computer. And then once it's done, go ahead and unzip this package. You can use something like WinRare or 7-Zip. And in this package, there will be three files altogether. Just move these over into your computer. Now let's put together the game files as well as this package, and we're going to have a working port of the game. First, you can delete the zip file, then open up that Stardew Valley folder, and then there's a game data folder inside of that. In that folder, you want to put all the Stardew Valley files. Now, take the SD card from your device and put it into your computer. This can be your 351 Elect card, or your ArcOS, or even RetroOS. Then, navigate to the Ports folder within the game's partition, and then move over these three files, and just leave them within the main ports directory. After they move them over, we're good to go. Let's eject the SD card and put it back into our device. For this one, we're going to do it with 351 ELEC running on the RG351M. Now one other thing to mention is that you need to have Portmaster installed on your device in order for this to work. And I have an entire guide on Portmaster, so just go ahead and check out that if you haven't installed it already. What I would recommend you do is open up Portmaster and then make sure it's running the most recent version of Portmaster. As of today, the most recent version is version 5.0. Anyway, you don't have to do anything else with Portmaster other than to verify that it's installed and updated. After that, you can go ahead and find the Stardew Valley file within your ports folder and boot it right up. And here we go, it's working just fine. So let's go ahead and start up a new game. I'm going to name my character Russ, I think that's only appropriate. And then for the farm name, I'm going to change it to Retro Game Crops. That just makes a lot of sense to me. And for my favorite item, I'm going to go with uh, onions. And here we go. This is Stardew Valley working on the RG351M. And the greatest thing about buying a port like this is that you can also play it on your PC at your leisure. And so now you have two different options to play that game. 
Now, one thing that I should mention, depending on which device you're using, is that you can change the UI settings. So if you go into settings, you can actually change the UI scale to make the menus a little bit easier to read. And you can also change the zoom level to see how much of the farm you want to see at any given time. So depending on what device you're using and its display resolution, this might be very helpful for you. Now, like I mentioned before, this can run on various devices. So for example, here is the RG351MP running on Arc OS, and it's running Stardew Valley just great. And the text and the graphics look really good on this 640x480 display. But if I'm going to be honest, my favorite way of playing this game is on the RGB Max 2. Because it has a 5-inch display, it just means that everything looks so much bigger. You can see so much more of your farm. Anyway, that's really about it for this video. Like I mentioned before, this is only the beta version of this release. So over time, you're probably going to be able to install this directly through Portmaster. Either way, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, and we'll see you next time. Happy gaming.